What's up, boys and girls? My name is Jeffrey. I just wanted to camera, put the camera on and tell y'all about this discovery. You know how you can have a little thing here, a little thing there, a little thing over there, and then you bring it together and it becomes something bigger than the sum of its parts? I think I found that. I think I found that. You know how when you're watching YouTube and you get ads, and you say skip ad in five seconds, wait for the ad to play. You get used to it because it's free. So also when you're watching YouTube, you get ads from YouTube to either sign up for YouTube TV or to sign up for YouTube Premium. I signed up for YouTube TV to check it out for the free thing. And it was all right, it was cool. You know, it didn't give me enough channels that I wanted. It was cool, I mean, it worked. And then I found IPTV, Google it, IPTV, one word. And that's what I'm using now, but YouTube Premium is YouTube without commercials. And I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, you know, what's that about? And then I checked it and it was free. You get it for free for two months. I said, ah, let me check it out. So I started playing with it. I'm like, oh, okay. Now here's the thing. So now I'm on YouTube. I'm going from video to video, no commercials. It was nice just to pop right in. There ain't no skip ads. Ain't like this, ain't like that. No commercial. Now, you take that and you combine it with your recliner and a big screen and an Amazon Fire Stick or the such. A smart TV or a smart TV device. So now, I'm able to sit in my recliner that I have been for years, way back to the cable box and VCRs, VHS tapes, DVD players, Blu-rays, all of that. That same spot with the remote in my hand with the big screen in front of you. That's a different feeling than sitting at your computer looking at something or sitting at your desk or on your phone looking at something. So I got YouTube, which I've always thought about as a computer thing. You know, YouTube is for the computer or the phone. You know, just watch videos or something. I never thought of, of YouTube as something that I could surf. Because back in the day, it didn't have that kind of content. But now, everybody uses YouTube. So you can get news and clips of events and stuff, you can just pull it up. It doesn't have to be live, you know? I used to always think it had to be live. That's why I always wanted to have, one of the reasons why I wanted to get the YouTube TV was to get CNN live. For some reason, for me in my mind, I needed a live station. And you don't get YouTube live stations, you gotta pay extra, it's different. So, I also found out that if I scan the news and find out what's going on, I can go to YouTube and find a clip or a post about it. And now that I got YouTube Premium, I can find it without commercials. No skip five minutes, skip, you know, skip five seconds ad thing, none of that. And no ads popping up in the middle of it and all that. Now you combine that with sitting in your recliner watching a big screen with a remote in your hand to where you can jump from video to video with just two quick clicks. So I could be watching videos about the Steelers podcast, about my Steelers podcast stuff. I'm not talking about, and I can get Stephen A. Smith's videos. I can get, you know, all the major sports outlets, they post clips on YouTube. 
You don't got to see it live. You know, the commentary about the season, all of that. News, documentaries. The big deal is to be able to surf YouTube. The big deal is to be able to surf YouTube with a remote like it was a cable TV station. And it's good. With no commercials, it's just, it was mind boggling. Yesterday, I just really got into it. Started watching my regular podcast about the Steelers, Steelers news. Then I went down to news and start re, uh, watching videos about Ida. I'm talking about like the Washington Post got one of the best ones I've seen. Washington Post is like no commercials, no nothing. And it's just commentary, like on the ground commentary stuff that they posted, like real life people with a cell phone and people's faces down there, you know, the, the hurricane and live event, like real time. And I'm just jumping, from, you can jump from one to the other in the comfort of your recliner. It's a big difference between watching YouTube on your big screen TV in your recliner than on your phone or on your laptop. And that's the combination. You get the combination of the big screen, the fire stick, and YouTube premium. Now, some people say they don't mind the ads, and I didn't for a while either. You know, no doubt. I, had, you know, I didn't mind the ads for a while. And then they started to get on my nerves. And then I'm like, hey, I can afford whatever. How much is it to get rid of these damn ads? And that $11.99 is kind of high. So they give you two free months. Now I think I'm hooked. They got me now. They got me now. Because there ain't nothing like it. So the ABC News, ABC, the ABC News and NBC News is, and uh, like the major outlets, they have their like YouTube, you know, segments, clips they post there. But they're a little sensationalized, and you can immediately tell. <clears throat> PBS had one, a little bit more, I don't wanna say, not conservative, I don't know what the word is, a little bit more non-sensational, you know, no hype, no slant, no, oh, and stay tuned, because this could kill you. None of that stuff. And the Washington Post one, I don't even, even know what the deal was. It was no ads, and it was no advertisement for Washington Post other than a little logo up in the corner. And I was getting some on the ground video and stuff. It was just good. So I sat there. Last night, I just got into it. Just watching different videos, and I watched, oh, I found one about the Capitol riot. And no commercials. It was just good. Washington Post posted it. It was the way it was done. Just all the fat and sensation, sensationalism was cut off. None of that. None of that. It was good. So that's the secret. YouTube Premium. Not YouTube TV. YouTube Premium. So you can watch YouTube videos without commercials in your recliner, in your relaxation position with a remote to where you can jump from video to video. Then you have subscriptions of the channels you like. So when those videos come up, you know, they have the, comp the, 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 the content that you're, you know, you dig, that you're into. And then YouTube, the algorithms, AI, where you want to call it, is smart enough to figure out to add stuff to it. Say, all right, since you like that, here's this. And some of it is good, you can scroll through it. And like I said, the idea of no waiting is immense. Changes the whole experience. Because instantly, click, click, Tomlin talking. No banners, no ads, no commercials, boom, boom, boom. My offensive coordinator talking. Go right into the meat of the clip 
and no ads. Anyway, my name is Jeffrey. I just want to throw that out there. Probably went on too long about it, but I was excited about it. To, to have to, because I never thought of watching YouTube as TV. Not YouTube TV, to watch YouTube as if I was watching TV in the evening, in the recliner with the remote, going from one clip to the other, news, sports, science, whatever, you know, all of that. Check it out, I'm telling you, YouTube Premium, check it out. My name is Jeffrey, get a Fire Stick or a Roku, whatever device you wanna use. I use Fire Stick because it works with my IPTV provider. So I'm walking, there's like water literally dripping, there's sweat dripping out my jacket as I walk down through the sleeve and I love it. I love it. It probably doesn't mean a damn thing, but I love it. Anyhow, you heard it here first. Cut off. <laughs>